Hey guys, welcome to Digit.in. So a few days ago, Dell gave us a call and asked us if we wanted to check out their new Aurora R8 desktop uh, computer. So they sent the Alienware Aurora R8 over. This is the newest desktop in their gaming series. And um, it's got a very impressive set of specifications. It's powered by the i9-9900K. It's got an NVIDIA RTX 2080. Still getting used to the whole transition from the G to the R. Um, it's got 16 gigs of RAM, it's got an NVMe drive, uh, secondary one terabyte drive, so it's got a whole lot of things. But I was very curious to see what a tower like this would house on the inside. So I have with me my screwdriver and we're going to open this up and find out. Walk you through what's actually on the inside. Um, so we can see that there are two HyperX uh, RAM sticks and now these I'm assuming are 8 GB each because our system reports a total memory of 16 gigs. This is a liquid cooler uh, which is and it has a singular 140 mm fan which is probably pushing it into the radiator which is on top. Um, there's a Wi-Fi card over here and the NVMe drive is actually stuck neatly away in one corner that in this system, it's a 250 GB uh, NVMe, it's a Hynix uh, NVMe drive. Uh, this is the GTX, oh, sorry, this is the NVIDIA RTX 2080. Now this is the Thunderbolt card that's actually in this computer right now. It's got uh, two Thunderbolt out ports. Uh, it's got a display port in, which means you can also use this for video capture if you wanted to. So yeah, that's a look at the new Alienware Aurora R8. It has on the inside, which is an i9-9900K. It's got an RTX 2080. Hey, I got that right. 16 gigs of RAM, 250 gigs of uh, NVMe storage, along with a one terabyte hard drive. Now what we're gonna do is uh, put all this back together and see how good or how well can it play Battlefield 5, Metro Exodus, and a few other popular gaming titles that we all love to play. What all of this essentially translates over to is that the Alienware Aurora R8 is one amazing gaming desktop. In terms of gaming performance, what you can expect is some very, very admirable frame rates. We played Metro Exodus, Battlefield 5, and a host of other games to see just how well or badly it would do. In our testing, we found out that on Metro Exodus, even while playing at 4K, you can expect to see some very impressive frame rates. For Metro Exodus, we got a number of 35 FPS with DLSS turned on, RTX turned on, of course. And for at 1080p, we were clocking 62 FPS in total. Turning the features off, we saw the frame rate in 1080p jump to 81 FPS and in 4K jump up to 48 FPS. For Battlefield 5, at 4K, we had an average FPS of 55 with RTX and DLSS turned on. And when we dropped the resolution to 1080p, the frame rate jumped up to 120 and 151 FPS respectively for RTX turned on and off. Do note that all of these games were played at the highest possible graphical settings, which is Ultra in both the cases. And other games like Crisis 3, Apex Legends, Shadow of the Tomb Raider, Need for Speed, Payback, even Forza Horizon, Gears of War, all of these games ran butter smooth, giving us north of 90 FPS depending on the resolution, but all of it played at the highest graphical settings. So all in all, the Alienware Aurora R8 is definitely one beastly gaming desktop. For the latest technology updates, subscribe to Digit.in and don't forget to hit the bell icon.